Let's bring in Herb Greenberg, Empire Financial Research Senior Editor and CNBC contributor. Herb, we've joked before that, you know, does your own career reflect that? But is this just, I mean, does it present shorts with more opportunities than ever in some ways? Or, or is this really a, a change in the times? Well, I, I think nobody really knows whether it's a change in the times, but I can tell you it's not necessarily the beginning and the end, because here's the thing. Look, we're always looking at the stocks that have these big pops up. But for every for every uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and every Avis, there's, uh, there's a company like Tupperware. Look at Tupperware over the past two days, down 38%. There's wow. a company like Chegg that got, you know, chugged. And, uh, and look at Zillow. Zillow has just been pummeled. So when, I think the change, one of the changes is this. Look, it's really been hard for people who are short sellers. It, I, I would argue that there's there's a there's almost a dysfunction. It's 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 a it's emotionally it's not necessarily healthy to do. It's, it's never been healthy to do. It's really not healthy to do right now. I of course wasn't a short seller. I was providing research to the short uh, to the short right. uh, to, to short sellers. But I think what you have is you have several things going on. One is and this is very important. It's like when I left Pacific Square Research, which is a short research firm, I joked. This would be the beginning of good times for short sellers. Well, it necessarily it wasn't necessarily the good times beginning, but I will tell you, with so few short sellers available, as you've seen in some of these names, the stocks fall in a vacuum. Is there There's no of, natural buyer there. One of the things so the, as sellers are selling. The natural huh? buyer comment is really interesting because the one change obvious this year that we have is the rise of retail investors who love being able to drive shorts out of some of these positions, especially in stocks like GameStop or AMC that might have sort of emotional meaning or where they think there's turnaround stories that the pros are missing or betting against. It's almost like the value would be to go through and screen the short stocks for which ones have, you know, a, a shareholder base like that that could result in a short squeeze and which don't. You know, I mean, maybe Gen Z just isn't that interested in Tupperware's fortunes, for instance. Well, you never know where they're going to go next, right? I've seen people uh, on Twitter just saying, "Boy, you know, I hope I hope the, the the memesters come here and they start, you know, taking my stock, which has a high short interest to the moon." And of course, it doesn't happen. Um, I look. I think one of the other aspects here is you have a change in the ownership structure, the market structure that's going on, and it's something I've sort of been intrigued with. There's a there's a money manager out there. His name's Mike Green, and he's been very articulate on the on the notion that passive holders, you know, the rise of ETFs have actually, for some companies, has, have created sort of almost an insurance for them that hmm. they're not going to budge unless something really big happens. So you've had some of that going. So it depends on who the holders are of those stocks. I think it's something a short seller has to pay attention to today. But again, you know, we don't know how this is all going to go, you know, a few years, you know, a few months, a few days, a few years, a few weeks from now. Because in the end, what I've always said is what I've been telling anyone who asks is, there almost has to be a washout. And until there's some big washout there, you know, this game continues. But we all know the game isn't going to continue the same way, or at least we don't think it is. And that's the issue. So there are still people shorting stocks. It's very difficult. But when they hit and when they've hit a catalyst and the catalyst occurs, they're making money. So you have to be careful because I don't think everyone's paying attention to those that are going down. And there are plenty that are going down. The difference is, you know, you can be right and be wrong for three years or be wrong for a year while the stock triples on you, which is the case of a Zillow, for instance. It tripled from, you know, this period when everybody was saying it's, 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 it's um, flipping business was going to be a flop. And then when it flopped, the stock finally, you know, it finally came down and it's back to where it was, you know, a year and a half ago. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.